Hey, DJ here and welcome to the video blog of day four of our digital pilgrimage from Holy Island Lindisfarne down to the Lindisfarne Gospels in Durham. And day four is actually the halfway mark, not only in terms of days, but also distance. We've covered by now about 55 to 60 miles of what's about a 100, 110 mile journey. I do have to say the feet are starting to be a little bit worse for wear. You can certainly see that they've done uh, a number of miles by now, but we've had a great time so far and a great day today. And the day started in a place called Amble, and we very soon were on the beach walking along in quite windy conditions. We've walked about 8 to 10 miles this morning. We've just come right along this beach, this long stretch of coastline here, and it's been a lovely morning for a walk. It's just after 1 o'clock, so we're going to head over here to another town called Creswell, get out of the breeze, and put our feet up for a few minutes and grab some lunch. Well, we met some great people in Cresswell, just a little place but a great ice cream shop and a lot of really friendly people there. Sheridan made some other friends along the track this afternoon as well. And soon we're heading more into the kind of industrial modern northeast England, today with a blend of technology and energy production. It was really this morning along the beach though that we had the best time for reflection and conversation. Yesterday in Sheridan's video blog he was talking about our conversation on the trail and how Yesterday we were kind of looking back and talking about our childhood a bit and the formative experiences that have shaped and sown into who we've become and what we're passionate about and what we've given our life to in the last five, ten or more years. And today, perhaps it was because we were approaching the halfway mark of the trip, we started sort of thinking about where we're at in life and he and I are both about 41 years old and the average lifespan of an Aussie male is about 80 years. So we're kind of halfway through life and we're nearly halfway through this pilgrimage and it got us thinking, well, well, where are we at and what happens now going forward in our lives? What do we give the next 10, 20, 30, and if God gives us those years, even maybe 40 years to? That in turn reminded us of two things. One, the story of Alfred Nobel, and he was the inventor of dynamite. You may know the story if you don't. He one day woke up to his surprise and because of an editorial mistake, found his obituary in the paper and he was reading about what others had thought of him and were saying about him. And he was characterized as someone who had brought so much death and destruction through the, his invention of dynamite into the world. And he realized that that was his legacy. That was how he was going to be remembered. And he decided at that moment that he was going to change his legacy, that he was going to rewrite his obituary, if you like. And, uh, and that's when he got the idea for the Nobel Peace Prize, that instead of being remembered for causing destruction and so forth, that he would be remembered for promoting peace and advancement in the sciences and literature and so forth. And so he literally rewrote his obituary. And that got us thinking, well, what is it that we want people to say about us? But not just kind of uh, for our own ego's sake, but, but what stamp do we want to leave on the world? What, when they stand up and read our eulogy or write our obituary, uh, what is it that we'll be remembered for? The other thing it reminded us of was just a day or two ago, we passed Dunstanborough Castle. And Dunstanburg Castle is a, is a massive and amazing monument to the Earl of Lancaster, Thomas, who was one of the most powerful nobles of his day in the 14th century. But on a plaque at the front of the castle, it says that Thomas is remembered as an arrogant and unpopular man. And we thought, what a terrible legacy for someone who had so much money, wealth, power, influence, and so forth, that what he's remembered for was his character, or lack of it. And I guess that had Sheridan and I thinking, well, what do we do with who we are now? Not just in terms of our action, but in who we're becoming. So that we leave something that people will remember us for good things and for leaving a positive contribution to the world, perhaps even the kingdom of God by the grace of God. So it was a thoughtful day, a reflective day, uh, a long day, and I'm, I'm pretty glad to put my feet up at the end of it. Look forward to talking to you again really soon. God bless.